I personally feel that uh, this introduction is a formal introduction and we should be very informally discussing things in the course of time. Uh, not only here but also in the blog I think we should be responding informally so that the conversation will go on. So, um, I think uh, ST Dhani doesn't need any introduction, I should start like that. Uh, ST Dhani has been uh, in TAFR, uh, Mathematics Division, for uh, quite some three years, somewhere about 40 years. And after that he went to IIT and uh, currently he is at uh, Bombay Mumbai University's uh, CBS, Center for Basic Sciences, Excellence in Basic Sciences. Mm -hmm. But what is important today about him is that he has been addressing this question for a long, long time. The question which is worrying us. I think I should talk about half a minute about when we were all students uh, in the 60s and 70s, school students and college students, we never thought that we would have to come out in the, on the street to defend science. And August 9, this year, we had to come onto the street, uh, which is called the March for Science across the country. And uh, S.D. Dhani was one of the major uh, inspire, inspiring persons in that, and he was on the front. And uh, today, uh, when I, I had to introduce him, what I had to talk about him is, he has been addressing this question from 1990s onwards. He has been publishing articles on the, the question of Vedic mathematics. Today, I think it has become sort of an issue to a large number of people and probably a non-issue for several other people. So he has been addressing this question from 1993, if I remember correctly. Uh, and he has been writing about it. He has been discussing about it. So I don't want to take more time on that. So he, I will request uh, S.T. Dhani to come and uh, 